Welcome to the Amazon Elite YouTube channel. This video is about building relationships. Game changer. What do we talk about? We talk about how important it is to grow a personal relationship with the people you're doing business with. Whether it's your supplier, your distributor, or your customer, or your employee. Mm. Grow personal relationships with these people. Absolutely. We talk about taking them out to dinner, asking about their family, taking deals that you're not making money on, all of the tactics and skills that we've used to grow this monster Amazon business. Don't be an average e-commerce seller. Look at the big picture. Smash the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and stay lit. Stay lit. Hey everyone, what's going on? So I, we, we really wanted to sit here today and kind of touch on suppliers and, mm. and the relationships we have with our suppliers, like the personal relationships we have with our suppliers that have allowed us to scale the business to where it is today. Like I was thinking about just my relationship with Alicia. Like, mm. I mean, she's helped us grow from you know, seven figures to eight with just a relationship she's provided from a billion dollar supplier, one of the suppliers yeah. that we work with. You know, they treat us as equals. They're offering us deals and promotions that they don't offer to anyone else. Yeah. And it's really because I've like built close ties with her. You know, she knows my kids. I send her holiday pictures. And, uh, you know, even another one of our suppliers, I have their uh, holiday card right behind us. You yes. know, great relationships with Doug. Uh, another supplier, Tina. How about your relationship with Eddie, man? Mm. Like your relationship with Eddie's, like yeah, he's Eddie. always sending you anything. I talk to Eddie more than I talk to my family. Yeah, or any any deals that come into play, yeah. like he's sending it to you first. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's super important. And and with Alicia, we we do what? Maybe three to four million dollars in purchasing a year from them. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, and it's solely based on the deals that they give us. Without those deals, there wouldn't even be an opportunity. Yeah. You know, and these are prices that you're not getting on a day to day basis. No, absolutely not. Right. Absolutely not. Right. Um, you know, Manny, too, like the relationship that uh, Amina has grown with Manny, or the relationship that Mac has grown with Doug and, you know, and Lauren. Mm. You know, it's it's the reason that we're able to scale to. Or Nicole, too. It's the reason we're able to scale to where we scale to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was just thinking about. When we go visit Ernie, like this is a successful hundred million a year wholesaler, and he sits down with us and mm. gives us insight on how to grow the business. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, it's without those relationships, you know, you always hear about the analytical part of growing a business. You always hear about the tools you need to grab. You always hear about what you need to do on, on internally to grow the business, but like such. A huge part of growing a successful business is the outside, yeah. the, the external, the, relationships, the networks yeah. and the relationships. Yeah, if it wasn't for that relationship with Ernie, we probably wouldn't have went to ASD. No, as a as a and got a booth and, and yeah. showcased our products there and, and began began the you know Avid wholesale. That yeah, whole, that whole thing came to fruition because of the we saw the opportunities yeah. and that was through him. Yeah, and he told us like, listen, anything you need, any questions you have. You know, and this dude's a busy man. He's got a private jet, he flies around the country, he's in Vegas every week. Yeah. You know, and and and, and he we're fortunate enough to have this guy in you know, in our in our phone books and just call him whatever and ask him questions. So building relationships, you're absolutely right, Art. It's we say it all the time, it's the foundation yeah. of our company. Without the good relationships, we don't exist as a business. Absolutely not. We do not exist. No, and, and these wholesalers that we work with, like, this is what I aspire to. You know, you hear other sellers say, like, oh, I want to be like this seller, or I want to do this. Like, I want to be like these wholesalers. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to be like Ernie. Like, he's a little bit older than us, and, like, that's what I envision, mm -hmm. that type of lifestyle, that those type of relationships, you know, when we're his age, if yeah. not earlier than that. But, like, and the way we can get that is, you know, from the advice that he throws at us. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know? Absolutely, and some of the companies we do business with are what? What's what's um, what are they? A fifty billion dollar business? Well, some of them are Fortune five hundred. Like yeah. Lauren and, and yeah. The Fortune five hundred 
Fortune 100 private companies. Mm. Yeah. So huge businesses. I'm yeah. talking huge businesses. Yeah. And these are people that we've been doing business with for years. Yeah. So we get, I know I get, I just got a question from one of our clients yesterday. Uh, it was like, hey, Eric, um, I'm trying to buy a couple pallets of toys from one of my distributors. He won't drop the price. I could still make 10% margins on it. It's fast movers. I can get them into Amazon before Christmas. What do I do? I said, buy them. Buy them. Buy them. 10% to build a relationship? Wow. Yeah, it's a $5,000 order, but still 10% of $5,000 is still 500 bucks. But it's more about the relationship. And then next time, or maybe the time after, yeah. that's when you get the 14% and the 16% and the 18% because you, you took a hit on this first order. Yeah, oh, you, you, you help them. Yes. Really, that's what it is. You help them. Like, I know with a lot of the companies we work with, we're their go-to. Like, mm -hmm. that, that holiday letter that's there is because the, our buyer who works directly with them, you know, Mac is always saying, like, we are their go-to. If they have a product they want to move, yeah. whether it's a truckload of diapers or whatever it is, they're contacting us. Mm -hmm. And then they're willing to drop the price significantly to move it because they want us to do well on it, too. We, we tell them right away, like, listen, Doug, you know, this is a great product, but we need it at this price, and no questions asked. No yeah. questions asked. He he drops it and he gives it to us. For yeah. That. And it definitely wasn't like that at the beginning. Of no. course not. But we've helped them plenty of times with products they couldn't move, and we've taken them into and sometimes have taken those products to break even on it, mm. just to move it for them because they needed it moved. And then that favor always comes back around, whether directly or indirectly. And there's ways to manipulate these offers that that these people you build relationships give you. For example, we got a, a offer from Nicole like two or three weeks ago, and the one ASIN was selling really well, yeah. and the other ASIN we were breaking even on. Yeah. So Matt came in my office, he's like, hey Eric, what do I do? She wants me to get, I think it was like 80 cases of this. Yeah. But the, the profitable listing, we'd only be able to move 30 cases a month. So that's really three, almost over three months worth of inventory. So it's too much inventory yeah. for what we buy. We buy about 30 days. But I was like, let's just do it, right? We'll send the one ASIN just to move the units, but we'll make a lot of money on the other ASIN because we're getting it a lot cheaper. Right, right, 100%. It's like, you know, you, you, you hedge it. I mean, there's sometimes, sometimes like one of the, uh, one of the health and beauty companies that we work with, uh, they tell us that we need to meet a certain requirement for to give us a price on one product and so we might take the other product because they need it to be moved as well and we'll take it knowing we're not making anything on that one solely just to make the money on four five six different ASINs that we just mm. picked up because because we're hedging the bet you know we're hedging the investment and we're we're kind of looking at it at the full scope sometimes mm. you don't look at it by ace and by ace and you look at it as a package deal the company. okay this fifty thousand dollar order what is the profit on this fifty thousand dollar order all together we're looking at a 20 30 40 percent you know gross profit or even higher for ROI then of course we're going to take it just because one of the ASINs that they want us to take isn't profitable of course we're going to take it because mm -hmm. they they're asking us for a favor so we're going to return it so for that guy that's making 10 percent just like you said man jump on that mm -hmm. jump on that and grow the relationship be a big picture person where do you want to be in a year not where do you want to be tomorrow I think too often we just see that people are just impatient and they want their business to be a legitimate full-scale business on day one and it's not gonna happen that way no absolutely not and then you brought up a valid point analyzing really per order or even better yet at the company as a whole so like every three months every six yeah. months analyzing the company as a whole because even if you had to take even if 10% of the products you buy from that distributor or end up being horrible, um, non-profiting products, if you review that distributor as a whole and their margins are still healthy, then that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It just means more units you're selling to get more customer feedback, increase your, grow, your storefront on Amazon, get more customers to purchase from you, become a larger presence, and grow your Amazon business. Right. So it's a win-win. Right. I mean, it, listen, it's about to be 2020. The world is shrinking. Competition is right there in your front door, whether it's right here or virtually there. You know, it, it is much harder to sell products 
online or the brick and mortar store. You know, I, I mean, I was just talking about it with a couple guys here, and like, I see the death of Black Friday. Even now, Black Friday, Cyber Monday are not what they used to be. Mm. Sales are great, but every day is a sale. Yeah. Because it's not like, well, once e commerce came around, every day every became day. a sale. Every minute of the day, right. too. It's two in the morning, four in the morning, doesn't matter. Is a sale. So it's about building those relationships and having that trust with the supplier and that supplier having trust with you. So when they decide who their go-tos are, you are them and they are you. So, you know, it, it, it's so important. I can't stress how important it is. And that's why we work with national wholesalers and, and distributors. And, you know, in retrospect, even though we, we, we sell phenomenally on Amazon and, and on other online platforms, when you look at these other companies that they work with, these billion dollar companies, mm. it's like, why are they providing these deals to us? It's solely because of the relationships they've grown with us and the opportunities they see in our future. I, I know it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and really I think that people, most people are good judge of character. Yeah. Most people in a first introduction, you have 10 seconds to really present yourself. Um, and then if you can win the confidence of that person in those first 10 seconds, then you get the opportunity to grow and build that relationship. Um, that's why even sometimes when we go to these uh, trade shows, we may even flip our badge around just because we don't want the person to see that we're an e-commerce seller right from the rip, right? Because we only get 10 seconds to, to introduce ourselves and we don't want to be judged by our e-commerce capabilities because we are so much more than that. We bring value to distributors and you need to bring value to distributors. You need to sell yourself in the value that you will bring them, not just what you can take from them. It's like one hand wash the other, both wash the face. I think Jada Kiss said that. Yeah, I, th I think so. <laughs> I think so. I think so. No, that, that's so true, though. And that's kind of like what we do when we do these trade show walkthroughs, and that's why we've had so much success mm -hmm. walking the show with ourselves and then bringing now people, tagging people along, mm -hmm. like what we're going to be doing in March and yeah. ASD and kind of showing them what we do. And obviously, it doesn't matter how many tools we pr provide you with, uh, if we show you what to say and what to, what to do, because it's really about the, the genuineness. Mm -hmm. Uh, of, of how you present yourself and, yeah. and and that's what it stems down to like that's what when you break it down to everything else it's how authentic you are mm. uh, and you're right most people are a good judge of character so they'll know they'll know and unfortunately I know at first when when you know when Amazon lit as a seller was around it like they loved the set trade shows then came a part where there were some sour sour or bad apples in the game and unfortunately they made a bad name for e-commerce mm. sellers and of, of course there was a lot of changes happening and brick and mortar stores were worried about it and now things are turning around again and it's like you can't beat them join them so now they're deciding who to join who to partner with who to team with so they can scale their brick and mortar suppliers uh, or well, the brick and mortar retailers and the suppliers can still provide to that genuine e-commerce knowing they're not going to impact them whether it's abiding by map pricing whether it's you know if if they say hey don't sell don't sell this product online or don't sell on this listing we won't you know it's, it's kind of just being authentic absolutely absolutely relationships should we touch on the trade show walk through it all here or we should just no shameless plugs. Listen, it's coming up. Yeah. It's only three months away. People you know, are already booking. So. so in Vegas and one more in California, we'll drop the location um, within the month. But we'll be offering a trade show walkthrough. There's a video that's going to pop up right here. You can check out what that trade show walkthrough entails. Um, and basically, you spend five or six hours with Sebastian and myself walking the trade show floor and we're introducing you to distributors that we've done business with just at ASD we do about two million dollars a year in yeah. sales from yeah. suppliers we met at ASD yeah. so we show you how we walk the trade show floor and the skills and the tactics that we've learned over the past seven years yeah. of going to trade shows how much money do you think we spent going to trade shows in the past seven years? Six figures. Six figures. Six figures. So over $100,000 we've spent gaining this information. Yeah. And how much time do you think we spent? Uh, months. 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 Months traveling the country going to trade shows. Yeah. And we're offering it to you at a very reasonable rate and in the time span of six hours you get all the information we learned 
it's honestly we should be charging quadruple what we charge but we can't because we're just we're people people yeah. and, and we understand that a lot of you are just growing your business yeah. and we also understand the value that it brings yeah. so we're you know we're not trying to hustle you we're, we're trying to help you grow no we've been there at the yeah, end of the day we've, been, we've there. been there like we were small sellers and and I remember walking the floor and knowing nothing I remember just observing watching other other brick and mortar uh, clients talk to these suppliers and wholesalers and brands and seeing what they were saying and kind of trying to feed off of that and learning it and if I had the opportunity to and, mm. and not stumbled the way I did at many shows not knowing what to say not knowing the lingo I would have jumped on it mm. I would have jumped on it and, and listen we've done the, the trade show with our clients before and it was all love like yeah. and that's what I love afterwards the gratitude the appreciation yeah. you know the one guy sent us the GoPro video everyone shouted us out after that so yeah. it's like I know we're bringing value so we continue to do it because yeah. hey uh, we're going to continue to go to trade shows and <laughs> yeah we'll be there anyway yeah, so. we're gonna be there anyways and, and be like I really like like you said man and no matter who we meet every single time anyone out there is gonna offer us something and we're gonna provide you something and that's what relationships are about mm. we do not know everything and there's so much information out there for us to learn as well and we grab that from you and you guys grab from us what you can and then we grow that relationship there's no reason it has to end there there might be opportunity for us to partner on something in the future and you just never know who you're gonna stumble across who you're gonna meet who's going to be valuable to you and you're going to be valuable to them in the future. Mm. And that's the relationships on a whole nother level. That's the yeah. relationships outside of the suppliers. That's relationships with our clients. That's relationships yeah. with just mutual mutual competitors, right? With others who consider competitors. You know, we look at it like, you know, just because we sell on Amazon, both of us, doesn't mean we need to compete. We could work together. There's, there's plenty of competition out there, plenty of saturation out there. So why not partner with certain individuals who we find genuine, which yeah. we have, and, and grow with them. Get deals together, make yeah. power moves together, meet up when you're in each other's states and communicate, share information. There's so much. Just the other day, one of our clients called me and said, hey, Eric, do you know about this new uh, addition that Amazon added on Seller Central? And I was like, no, I had no idea. And he, we spent five minutes on the phone and he explained it to me. Yeah. Right, and and those are the two guys we met at the diner. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Those are good dudes. Yeah, so you good know, dudes. and they've they've been they're probably some of our first clients, and they've been the brothers or the yeah, cops? no, the brothers. But I mean, man, <laughs> and, the, and the coolest part is like seeing all these different people and like diff at all different walks of life, whether mm. it's like a single mother or a state trooper or just two brothers who who left their businesses and started an Amazon hustle, mm. uh, you know doctors it, it's it's crazy it's crazy all walks of life are looking for side hustles yeah the guy was talked talk to yesterday everybody man yeah everybody's looking for a side hustle it's it's truly crazy yeah and here we are at the forefront of it yeah and I, I love it man like Eric brought this up and my wife brought it up and like you you should do this and we should have probably started this a while back but I was I was I was kind of skeptical about it, and you know, definitely was wrong. I'm definitely was wrong. I'm happy we went forward, and, and we've grown Amazon lit, and and all the love, and all the feedback, and all the relationships we've, we've been able to grow that stem from Amazon lit. So mm. it's really cool. Yeah. So go out there, ASAP today. I'm talking right now. Once you're done watching every single video on our YouTube channel, go out there and start building relationships. Yeah, do not sit behind the computer. Do not just send cold emails out. Start calling. Start going to these trade shows. Start meeting face-to-face. -face. Learn their names. Learn them personally. Learn about them so you can grow these genuine relationships that are going to help you grow your business and grow your future. You know, we talk to so many sellers and everyone does the same thing. They're either cold calling or sending emails out and asking for a catalog. If you have a supplier that you think might be of value, you need to contact them and tell them, hey, I have an opportunity for you. I'm an e-commerce seller. I could bring you lots of value. I'd like to take you out to dinner and discuss this with you. Mm. Nobody's doing that. This is something that you need to do. It brings a whole nother avenue, a whole nother scope of opportunity, and it puts you on another plateau, another platform above a regular average Joe e-commerce seller. That's what you need to do. Mm. 100%. 100%. So we talked a lot about uh, distributors and wholesalers and building relationships in all aspects of your business. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and if you didn't like the video, 
throw us a thumbs down. We like constructive criticism as well. Stay lit. Stay lit. <laughs>